thank you for having me to here and thank you for all the people that stand before me and behind me that have taken the time to sh share the true story about what happened on January 6th and uncover the truth of what's going on in the DC Gulag. I am the wife of Ryan Nichols. He is a husband, a father of two young boys, ages five and just eight. I, I stand here next to Patty Nichols and Don Nichols. And my husband has not seen his children in 514 days. My children do not remember what their father looks like. We have been denied access to see him, not even on video. Have we been, access, been denied access to see him, not even on video, due to COVID? My husband is a Marine veteran. He served his country honorably. He has not been convicted of any crime, and he has no criminal history. He has been labeled as an insurrectionist, and the narrative that they are trying to play is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. My husband owns a nonprofit called Rescue the Universe, where he goes all around the nation rescuing elderly women, children, and animals in hurricanes and natural disasters. He is a hero in his community. And he's been featured on Ellen DeGeneres and many other media stations for his rescue efforts. That is who Ryan Nichols is. My husband has been denied access to due process, all of his constitutional rights, which he served his country honorably for. He's been denied access to see his family. He's been denied access to sunlight and nutritional diet. He's been denied access to have a haircut and to shave and to clip his fingernails and his toenails. And the guards in the DC Gulag told him to chew his toenails off. This is the way that American citizens are being treated here in this country. It is wrong, it is unconstitutional, it is absolutely disgusting. And I share my testimony here today for everyone in every America to wake up to the truth about what is happening. You guys are being blindsided and brainwashed by the left, by the DOJ, and by the January 6th committee. They're not telling the truth. They're only telling you one side of the story. They're covering up the truth, and America deserves the truth. Like Joseph McBride said, they only played one part of that video. It was completely edited, and I demand them to uncover the truth, release the tapes, because America deserves that. My husband is not an insurrectionist. He's a Marine veteran. He served four years to serve his country. And this is the way veterans are being treated in America. It is disgusting. This is a nightmare. My family is suffering. My children are suffering. And we need help. We call on congressmen and women. We call on the Republicans to rise up. And I demand you to come forth. I demand you to do your job and do what you took an oath under, the, under God to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. This is not the America that we once knew. It is disgusting. I share this testimony for all the women and children that are watching that were too scared and fear for their life to come today because they've been harassed by CNN, by MSNBC, and been told that they will spend the rest of their life in prison. This is disgusting. And I ask you, do your research so that you can uncover the truth about what really happened on January 6th. Ryan is known for running to danger in his rescue efforts to help women. And that is exactly what he was doing on January 6th. Ryan could get Last thing, and I'll make this quick. Most of you have watched the congressional hearings or have heard about them, and we are not going to get a fair trial in D.C. because of the one-sided narrative. The videos that they are showing have been edited to fit their narrative. I've seen the same videos. The DOJ and the January 6th committee are hiding the truth from America and only showing one side of the story. America deserves the truth. Release the full unedited tapes and tell the truth for once. Thank you and God bless America.